Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. Let's jump right in Virgo and see what's going on with you today, all right? Now remember, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. You get it the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Virgo, so it looks like here that you are very hardworking and independent, okay? Get entrepreneur energy as well, maybe having your own business, but also working, you know, you could be working a nine to five, you do well, whatever it is, it's like it's a, you know, you do well, you know, um, a lot of money in abundance. I feel like money came in, came through, and you're happy, you're set. And then it's like the next day, damn it, got to go back to my other shitty job. I hate it. You know what I mean? It's like, damn it, now I got to go back to work. I got to go here because there's something about that. Now, regardless of what it is, very dependent, doing well for yourself, hardworking, there's a few things either you just do not like the job that you have right now and it's just like you're just tired of it but you you still you know it's got its perks or benefits or whatever or it's who you collaborate and work with and do business with where it's starting to get a little weird and toxic and shady something toxic is going on in the workplace is what i'm saying i don't know if it's on your end or it's just what's around you right um for the majority though it's kind of like you're not really having it you don't really want to be here and do that you know um regardless of what it is here some of you, uh, I don't really know if it's like you're just being lazy and like, like trying to, mm, I kind of think it just comes with a job, you know, it's like, for some of you, what I'm saying is, especially if you're a content creator, maybe you have to copy people to keep doing what you're doing, uh, whatever, okay, regardless of what it is here. Something here causes you to get really deceptive. I don't know if it's lie, cheat, steal, take, or you just have to be very quiet about what's going on with that job, with that workplace. I don't know. Either or. Like maybe you have to be like that. You know what I mean? To have things happen. Looks like for the majority of you, it's like you have to kind of be that way to get what you need or want. Because right after that, you're back at work, doing really good, doing a good job. You're very, you know, productive. Um, you know, you know how to apply yourself and do what you got to do here. There, maybe have a calm conversation with someone or you just become even well aware with things that, you know, you understand what's going on. It's not frustrating. It's not irritating. It's kind of like a firm frustration. It's like, it just comes with it, you know, so you know how, how you have to be. Now, regardless of what it is, there's something right after that has caused you to realize or feel like it's it's not it anymore. Like something's not really feeling too happy or loving or fulfilling in the situation that you are involved in. Let me make sure the card flip here for you. No. Yeah, but it's not, you know, it's unfulfilling, but at the same time, it's not enough to change your ways, right? Like change the situation, drop it, let it go, move on, cut it off, whatever it may be here. It's something that you've reflected on and you know that. And for a lot of you, what you're saying is it's for your marriage, it's for your relationship, it's for the commitment that you have involved with this, right? It's for the community or people. Regardless, you become more fulfilled, actually. So you not changing that or dropping that, whatever that is, and you reflecting on a lot and knowing what to do. It looks like it goes into, like I said, for your marriage, you know, or relationship or your own sense of commitment and fulfillment that you have with yourself. Something very beautiful here. Um, love and support, maybe support from family members or whatever it may be here. You know, maybe some of you are like, well, I do that. I, I work this job for my family, whatever it is here, right? Mm hmm Looks like right after that, though, you're basically kind of waiting and planning and expanding, trying to figure more out what you'd like to do. Now, while you're waiting and planning and expanding, this is where it's either you know you're in a situation that's very unequal 
or you purposely put yourself in that situation and you might be a bit greedy and might not really, you know, you may be taking more than giving, Virgo, whatever, right? Live your life. Um, it is starting to feel like a juggle, struggle, bus mess, okay? Things are not balanced. Things are starting to mess with you emotionally, energetically, physically, financially, I don't know. But it's not equal and it's starting to get messy. Okay, but you know it. You say, okay, you're saying that you're, you, you, you know this. You know it. Why? Okay, you're, aware, you're well aware of this. Um, okay, so you're well aware of the situation. You know what's going on, what you're putting yourself through, Virgo. Now, I don't know if you're saying that you're wasting your money and your time and you don't know what to do now or you just don't want to invest. Like, are your investments not that great? Or are you just saying like, you, you know what I mean? It's either or. It's kind of like you just don't care to invest anymore. Now you know the truth. It's stressful, but it's like whatever. Or it's like, are you just continuing to waste your time and money and energy? Either or. I don't know. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it does put you in a fear restrictive. At first, you feel stuck, restricted, scared, trapped. Like, oh my gosh, you can't do this or say this or whatever. But then right after that, there it is. You open up the heart chakra, the heart space. Now you're like, well, wait a minute. Now you know who you have to let go of, what you have to let go of, or what you have to end in your life. And it's something where you're realistic about it. You've known, like you've known all along, you know, but coming to the terms to it is like more now, right? And for some of you, it could be about a person, like I said, or whatever's going on here. It could be like work-based stuff. I don't know. But it does give you a lot of confidence and passion to get up and plan and now do what you want to do. Go towards where you want to go towards or to whom. And there you are, you know, working very hard, building, creating. It's like day by day, little by little each day. You're doing something. You're putting in the effort for something here. Okay. And for a lot of you, maybe it's too, you know. It's to continue, you know, working hard in the marriage or relationship that you are in and or maybe to want to be with someone in a relationship, right? Or it's to pursue them or it's about a best friend or it's about yourself, your own alignment, business, whatever this is here, okay? Mm-hmm, I see, okay. So what you're saying is you're gonna go another round. Uh-huh, which is irritating now. Okay, well, all right, Virgo. So what you're saying is you don't want to make those changes quite yet. Now, you've already heard all this. You've already been through all this. Each day may look a little different, same shit, different day kind of thing. Okay, so that's what's going to go on, which because afterwards now you leave this reading very annoyed or irritated or confused or just severely pissed off or just very cold towards who you're dealing with or manipulative and strategic because this is not meant to be anymore, whatever you're doing or whatever's going on or whomever is in your life. Like something's just not it. It's not destined anymore. It's karmic now, but you, you want to be in this, you have your right. Okay. Um, but it's making you not happy. Okay. Um, let's see. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Thank you. Bye.